Hey Samini, and this is just a little reminder to myself. Basically, um, we have two particle systems. One is this one, and another one is this one. And we basically want to have these particles follow the other ones like a trail. And um, my first thought all, all the time, I don't know why, is to create an event here an event generator and here an event receiver, uh, like so. And in the event generator, you just add one, set it, for example, to spawn and uh, give it a name like test one or something. And here in the receiver, you add test one here and uh, any is okay. And then you have to say how many you want, for example, 10 particles. And now when every, let me reduce the original spawn rate here, uh, whenever a particle in the main particle system is spawned, then 10 of the other ones are spawned as well. But this is not really a trail, right? And I always forget about a really nice thing. It's called location emitter direct location. Oh no, wait, it's emitter, uh, where is it? Uh, emitter initial location. And here you have to just enter the name of the other particle system. Here it's emitter one. I named it like that, emitter one. And what happens now if you um, let it spawn some, some particles, that they follow the other ones. If you disable the velocity, it's uh, better visible. Okay, and we have only one problem. Let me show this to you. If we only spawn one main particle, our trail looks nice, right? If we increase the, the spawn rate here, let's say to 20, then we get a nice full trail, basically. As soon as we increase the, um, the spawn main particles, you see that the trail is not um, so dense anymore. Um, so you have to adjust the spawn rate here. And also they look kind of random, right? So what you have to do is uh, emitter location, setting this from random to sequential. Now at least the distances between the trails are a little bit more um, constant, at least even though there are some uh, there are some holes still. And then basically we have to adjust the spawn rate here, right? Like we spawn um, four particles now, so more or less um, setting the spawn rate here to four times from what it was before, it should give you the same dense trails um, like when you only spawn one particle here, right? This is kind of workaround, but at least it works. And uh, of course there are ribbons and particle trails, but if you for some reason can't use these, then maybe this was helpful.